Hello everyone, Dwayne here with Chosen Adventures and I uh, want to welcome you back to the channel. Um, today I'm here in my camper. Uh, this is our 31 MB reflection uh, from Grand Design and uh, kind of in between camping here right now so I've got a project I want to work on and something I've been wanting to do for a while. Most of the time brings me down And my future won't exist without living now So I spread all my footprints around, yeah I know that every day will always bring me something new So we have this bar here We love it, works great But uh, we kind of wish it had a little bit more space a little more length here uh, we do have you know the uh, space over here but then of course got the TV um, taking up most of this area and uh, so it would be handy to have a little extra room here and we do have this bar stool that we use but uh, my plan here is to extend this countertop with the uh, an extension that hangs in here comes out uh, but it also then can drop down against the side there out of the way when we're not using it so uh, what I've got here right now is I've got this cardboard cut out and this kind of represents the size of the extension that I'm making um, I've got it 22 inches this way wide that's the width of the uh, cabinet underneath and then 20 inches this way which gives us Oh, I think it's about uh, 16 inches of extension there, something like that. But uh, it'll look something like that, and then I'm going to probably go ahead and round off these corners out here to uh, to kind of match this profile. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use this here cardboard as my template, and then I'll take it into the shop and transfer this onto the wood that I'm using. I'm actually going to use a wood, kind of a laminated wood. And uh, I'm going to stain it, hopefully, to, uh, to kind of match the color of the cabinet there. Okay, now I'm in my shop up here. Um, I went ahead and, of course, uh, put my pattern on here that, uh, that I want for the profile. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show you here what I've got. So these are the, these are the brackets that I'm using right here. Um, they, they fold down all the way down. And then, of course, they uh, spring out. And uh, well, they don't spring, but they actually they, they lock into place up here. Um, and so bought these off of Amazon and uh, they're they're supposed to be very strong and should hold more than enough weight than what I need them for and then I picked up this here wood this is a laminated wood that uh, that I picked up at Lowe's and uh, the little one by pieces that are laminated together here and so I'm gonna cut this here to my to the profile and the size that I want here and uh, and then we'll go from there. And of course, I got my trusty helper here today, so uh, should be a lot of fun, right, buddy? So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out my profile for the end of it here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and mark, mark the, the profile. 
profile on the front of it here, the nose of it, so we can match the existing countertop. We want to make sure that we're getting this. So we've got four and a half in the middle, so if we make four and a half on both sides here, both ends, we should have it nice and square, just like that. Transfer this mark onto here and cut it out with the jigsaw. Alright, there's my profile. Now I'll do some sanding on it on the sides, the edges, and everywhere. Uh, Okay, so as you can see right here, I've got a, a knot that has a, a crack in it. Everywhere else is pretty good, nice and smooth, but I've got this little knot here that's got a crack in it, so I'm gonna need to fill that. And what I oftentimes do, is I'll take and collect some of the dust uh, that I used, uh, that I sanded. Um, you know, the, the dust that comes out of the sander uh, from the board that I'm working on mix some uh, some wood glue with it and uh, and put in into there let it dry and then sand it back down and uh, it usually works pretty good so that's what I'm going to do Got everything sanded down, including the, the knot that we fixed, and so uh, should be ready to take it to the next step. And what I'm going to do, like I said, on the back side, on the underside, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, some of these rails on here. Um, this one right here that I'm going to put on here. Something, something like that. And then, then the uh, the bracket will get mounted onto that. And that'll be underneath the table, so you won't see it. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like uh, if I screw that and glue it, it's just gonna it's just gonna provide a little stronger platform here, a little more rigid, not quite so um, prone to maybe warpage or or whatever. I'm using a bit here that has a uh, attachment here to recess the head of the screw so it's uh, flush or just under. 
plus it helps to pre-drill so we don't split this out. Okay, so I got this thing put together. Um, should all be ready now for some stain. I actually decided to go with ebony. Um, I don't know, I'd, I'm going to give it a try. This is a sample I did, but it actually matches pretty good with the, uh, the cabinet there in the island of the camper, so I think it's going to. I think it's going to fit well. I guess we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so now we're back the next day, and uh, we have gotten our um, our extension here stained yesterday, and now it's dry. And uh, I really like the way it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead now and put a coat of this here um, semi clear semi gloss urethane on there, and uh, seal it really good. And uh, I think it'll be ready to uh, go ahead and install after that. So we'll go ahead and get this here. Started. Okay, so I'm not a professional painter by any means, and I may have been using the wrong brush, I don't know, because I'm getting quite a few little bubbles in here. Uh, other than that, it's looking really good. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably let this here dry, give it a quick sand, light sand again, and then hit it with another coat, and uh, call it good. Okay, so we are back. It is now the next day, and uh, this is nice and dry. Um, looks pretty good. I, it's a little rough, so I think, like I would said before, I think we're going to go ahead and sand this down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, a light coat of uh, a light sanding by hand. Light sanding by hand and knock this down and uh, smooth it off just a little bit and then go ahead and give it one more coat of the... Uh, of the urethane and uh, I believe that's gonna it's gonna be perfect nice and slick and easy to keep clean so we'll go ahead and do that here now
Okay, so now we uh, we let that dry again, probably till tomorrow, and uh, we'll take a look at it. But I think that'll probably do it. We can always give it one more coat if we need to. But uh, it's looking pretty good here now. What you got, big boy? Hmm? What you got? Get your bone. Okay, well, this is the next day, and now it's all dried out really good and pretty happy with it. I, I think it looks looks pretty decent. I like the I like the color. Um, so I think I'm ready to go ahead and uh, try to get this installed. Uh, I've got the brackets here and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, mount these on the shelf and also onto the side of the uh, cabinet. Okay, so now I've got my holes drilled here on both sides to, uh, to match up the uh, brackets here. And so we'll go ahead and get that installed here. All right, well, there it is. Now it's, uh, you know, it's not as wide, quite as wide here as the original. And I could have gone wider. Um, I think it would have been okay to maybe go out here almost to the edge of, of the cabinet. But, uh, but I'm happy with it. It does provide quite a bit of useful space here. And, uh, of course, we can, uh, nice place to sit here with the bar stool. So, I think it's a uh, worthwhile mod. And, uh, the best part is it really didn't cost that much. So, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you got a little bit of information, helpful information out of this. Um, fairly simple, straightforward application. And, uh... We appreciate you hanging with us, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, let me know, questions, or even some, some ideas, that would be great to hear from you.